Alright, so this is going to be the uh, release video for the Slide 41. It's my slide axle trailer. I made this specifically to go with uh, Carnival's Bison truck here. So I really like the Bison. Uh, he did a great job on this. So I kind of want to make a high quality trailer that could go with this that could do some container handling. Um, so let's go ahead and connect. So the uh, trailer, like a real uh, trailer, is um, the brakes will default on until you connect. Um, in real life, when you, you know, the, the trailer brakes are on until you connect the pneumatic lines. So in this, when you connect to the uh, kingpin, the pin there, um, it will automatically shut the brakes off. So the brakes are on, so you could leave this trailer, say, for example, on a hill, and it would uh, have brakes on. So as you can see, when we connect, the brakes uh, are released. So let's uh, go ahead and get out. So um, the trailer is default set to the height of this um, tractor so you can raise the trailer up higher if you need to um, right here on this um, side panel here we have uh, landing gear let's raise our landing gear let's go ahead and let's grab a light cord here and let's connect it to the um, to the cable connection there and we'll go ahead and we'll get moving all right so let's jump in um, so the lights presently are set up to work with carnival's truck um, you can go into the microcontroller and uh, you can convert the numbers to whatever you need them to be for your application. So let's go ahead and let's uh, look at the lights real quick. So if I press brakes, as you can see, I get brakes. Uh, if you look, uh, two is left indicator, we get left indicator. If uh, three is right indicator. Um, if I turn on the headlights, you'll notice that the marker lights come on. Also, the brakes are connected here. So if I uh, press the brake lights, the trailer brakes will also come on. And then if I set the parking brake, the parking brake on the trailer will also come on. So that's all set up to work with the trailer. So let's go ahead and get going. So we'll shut the parking brake off. Let's go grab a container and we'll go through the functionality of uh, the Slide 41 trailer. All right, so uh, it has simulated uh, wood decking as the real ones would have. Um, the back there with the wedges uh, simulating diamond plate. Um, you know, of course, can't paint one by four wedges. Uh, there are gripper tracks on the side there so that the container stays nice and stable on here. Um, as you can see, um, it's a low load of the clearance is tight, but it is within spec of where it really be. And, um, you know, you can pretty much go through anything and uh, be fine. You want to be a little careful on some of these really rough hills. Uh, it is a low loader. You will bottom out the trailer like you would in real life. So you want to be careful um, being too rambunctious with... Um, you know, with hitting some of the bumps. Um, let's go ahead and we'll go in reverse. We want to get um, pretty close, but we don't have to be perfect because um, the connectors will snap from a little bit of a distance. So try to line this up um, pretty close to where we are. We're going to actually push it just a hair to line it up better. Um, let me go forward and I'll reline a little bit. Okay, so let's line up just a little bit better here. And then that will be so that we uh, can connect a little bit better. Okay. And we'll just go ahead and we'll bump this um, container here. Okay. We can also push the trailer if need be. So let me set the parking brake and shut off the reverse. All right. So let's go ahead and let's uh, set the trailer up. So the first thing we want to do is slide the axle. So we're going to use the axle forward. That's a toggle. So you don't have to stand there. As you notice, the axle will slide forwards. This is how these tip in real life. Uh, the axle will slide forwards and then it will pivot, as you can see, and it drops to the ground. Next thing we want to do is we want to slide our container carriage down. Container carriage is going to go down and it's going to connect to the uh, connectors on the um, container. I need to paint that. All right, so we're connected now. Next thing we want to do is let's go ahead um, and let's bring the carriage back up and you'll notice when it gets close to this gripper track it will uh, sna auto snap to the trailer as you can see it just did um, it has simulated reflective tape strips on there all right so uh, what we want to do is we want to wait for the container to get all the way up uh, let's leave that light on for a container carriage and slide the axle first all right as you notice it locks into place the axle let's get the axle all the way back all right and so let's shut those both off so this should lock in place now 
All right, so let's go for a short little drive here. Um, the last button we haven't talked about here, that's release container. So we'll do that after we um, after we drop this container off. So I'm going to go, there's a really tough hill over here that um, plagues a lot of trucks. So we're going to go up that hill. Again, like I said, you want to be careful. This is a low loader. Just like a real load, low loader, you have to worry about bottoming out. And bottoming out is essentially um, when you... Uh, when you hit the bottom of the trailer on the ground. So if you ever notice on railroad tracks, it says, uh, you know, it might have, um, you know, assigned low clearance trucks. So if your landing gear is down, you'll get hung up on the tracks. If you see a lot of videos of like trucks getting hit by train, that's usually what happens is the trailer bottoms out and it gets hung up on the track. So you want to be a little careful, especially on these uh, crests of hills. We have clearance, but um, you know, you don't want to damage the trailer as you come over here. As you can see, that's a tight one. So if you get the trailer bouncing really hard, um, you know, if you're going too fast, you could damage the trailer. So um, keep that in mind. Um, it's designed to be a low loader. Um, at some point, I'll put out an American um, double container loader where you could probably leave some more ground clearance. But this is designed to be a low loader. So you do have to worry about um, the, the crests of hills um, hitting the trailer. But that's, you know, that's to be expected with any low loader. Um, you know, real trucks have to worry about bottoming out on those types of um, those types of hills. You could actually slide the axles forward a little to help with that, but um, you know, that's how they'd actually do it in real life. Is you'd slide the axle. So this hill here is usually pretty tough um, for trucks. So let's go up this. All right. So again, coming up the top, you want to be careful so you don't hit these too hard as you crest. That's how you're going to, uh, you know, if you're going to damage it, that's when you do it is on a crest of a hill there. Let's go ahead and turn. Um, you know, the light cord there is a little tight. Um, you know, that's just a Stormworks thing. Uh, we can't put slack in, so, um, you know, I might switch that out for a winch, but, um, you know, it, you'd have to make it so that it um, sets the distance. So let's watch. As you can see, it has clearance, but it's close, so if you get moving too fast, you could... Uh, bounce and hit it so um, you know you can go you can go fast let's go fast through the rest of it but just on the crest of these hills you want to be careful going up that's when you're gonna likely hit the um, hit the trailer so um, you know we'll, we'll go fast until we get to this next crest up here and that's where you'd want to be careful of uh, bottoming out because if you bottom out you'll damage something on the trailer not destroy uh, the trailer before we unload and um, you know and then then you're gonna have issues like with anything in storm arcs if you uh, damage it so right here's the crest of the hill so again take your crests uh, carefully as you can see you know we're just barely clear which is good um, that's how the real low loaders would be now let's go deliver this container All right. and we'll just throw a directional up throw a directional I, I hit reverse that's why I just uh, skid the brakes and I'll throw a directional on there all right so let's put our container back down all right now that'll, that'll finish up the functionality in the video all right so let's uh, put the brakes on here let's um, put on our parking brake let's jump out I'm just gonna shut the door so we don't hear the bing bongs all right and so um, uh, putting the trailer down is pretty much the same. You want to slide your axles forward. Again, that's for the tip functionality of the trailer. All right, um, trailer will tip. Uh, brakes should be on. Let me just double check. All right, uh, brakes are on because the uh, brakes and the tractor are on, so that's good. That will give us... Um, that will give us... Uh, I should actually put a brake interrupter on there, but um, that will give us brakes so that we don't um, so that we don't push here. Um, if you get a hang up here, that's just storm marks being storm marks. Just uh, reset it like that. Sometimes in storm marks, you'll get that where it will, uh, you know, on these sliding tracks, we'll do that. So just reset it. Um, that's there's nothing really I can do with that. But as you can see, we can easily. Especially with the brakes on, that helps it so that it will push the container. All right, container is to the end. We can press container release. That's a toggle. We can recall our um, carriage, and we can slide our axles back out. And that locks into place. 
and then we'll let the uh, container carriage go back and we are all set we could uh, go do another one all right so uh, thank you for watching this is the slide 41 again it was specifically made to work with carnivals but um, I have put in the microcontrols the functionality for you to be able to um, you know, reconfigure it for whatever setup you want for your own trailers, for directionals, for marker lights, for brakes. All right, thank you for watching. Bye.